Making hush and rest on Friday, Friday, Friday. Making hush and rest on Friday, Friday, Friday. Making ribs on Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. 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 making rice and ribs and mac and cheese and poutine. Jody, what's poutine? Poutine is oh. in high school. <laughs> poutine. Yeah, you used to eat these in high school. They used to serve them in my cafeteria as well, with <coughs> fries, with gravy, and cheese curds. Yeah, they're delicious. So, not to be confused with boudin. 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 Boudin's. Boudin, yeah. Boudin sauce. Shout out Ronnie's uh, Boudin. Um, Woo! So, yeah. Man. Matt, can everybody hear us? Can everybody can hear us? It's Friday, baby! Adam Doolittle checking in. He's on vacation. What's Adam happening? Adam on vacation. Morning, Donovan. Hey, yesterday they taken a boat about sides. Somebody said hash and rice, and they laughed like it was impossible to do on a fun day Friday. So, I like, I like accepting a challenge. So, I got to get this stuff on quick. Quick! So I'm gonna try to get hash and rice done on Fun Day Friday as a side to ribs today. So I gotta My get five. it going. So we have done about two or three. We ready? Two or three? Woo! Yeah, baby. we're ready. Beth Carnes is on, we're ready. So there's there's only one way to do this to get it done fast. We gotta hash and rice is traditional southern dish. Uh, if you don't know up north, it's uh, basically when you, you don't know what it is. Have you ever had it? Rachel has never had Delicious. hash and rice. It's, it's going to blow your mind, okay? It's very similar to Brunswick stew. A lot of debate goes on what makes it. When, when does it go from hash to Brunswick stew? But um, a lot of times it's done with leftover pulled pork. We're going to use pork, chuck roast, and chicken today. Uh, so we got to cook it first. So we're going to have to use the hot and fast method on this pork butt. I've got about a five pound butt. I got five pounds. I got four and a half pound butt, five pounds of chuck roast, and five pounds of chicken. I also have a pork tenderloin that's on its way that I'm going to smoke as well. So we're going to do this Rectech style. We're going to smoke this stuff first. First thing I'm going to do is season up this uh, butt. Hit me with a little olive oil. Here you are, sir. And then and I know you say you're waiting on a pork tenderloin. Yep, we're waiting on a pork tenderloin. I actually have one that I was going to cut into medallions. Okay, well, I got another one coming. Yeah, and I'll just use that for medallion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosie Panconi. Rosie! All right, and then we're going to use um, the honey rib rub. Now, what, what what I like to do is go with layers of flavor. So each one of these meats, they're all going to end up in the pot together. So each one of these meats, I'm going to use a different rub. Break that up for me, big guy. I'm going to use a different rub so we have some bunch of layers of flavor. We're going to go real heavy on this. This is a big cut of meat. And uh, so go as heavy as possible. And it's okay if it gets on this cutting board. This is all going straight to the rec deck. Now this pork butt, we're gonna go 350 degrees for three hours. We're gonna wrap it in foil and we're gonna go about another hour or so on one this small um, until it's an internal 200 degrees. If you go to um, uh, YouTube and type in rec tech fast pulled pork, You'll see my recipe for a fast cook. So we're gonna, we got that on at 350 degrees. So we're gonna get that done in about, about four hours. Ooh, be careful there. About four hours, okay? We're also gonna do the honey rib rub on these uh, pork tenderloins. But these, we're gonna cook, we're gonna smoke at 200 degrees. that new wide pellet Wi-Fi controller. Tell them what that does. So we've got dual probes on it that comes standard. So we're able, my cell phone's somewhere around here. I was hooking it up earlier. So we're able to actually use our Rectech app available at the Google Play or Apple App Store. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, you can download it right now. Just type in Rectech Reels, hit download. We really appreciate that. But you're able to monitor your cooks. So this grill here, it was blaze that trail 340 you guys uh, some of you faithfuls have seen you hook me at hook that up before so I've got my probe a here pro B here it's set at 350 we had it open for a little while so it's down at 285 but it's rising back up we've also got a temperature chart that'll show us exactly how that cook went you can take a screenshot of it if you want show probe a but we don't have any data so it's not going to show anything but it'll show probe A, probe B, your set point, as well as your actual set temperature. And you can do either one of these. 
Um, but we're cooking it hot and fast, 350, race at about a four to five pound pork butt. Well, this one's gonna go three, an eight pounder takes like clockwork, 350 for three hours, and then an hour and a half wrapped at 350. So this one, I've never done one this small, so I'm gonna go uh, about two hours and 45 minutes actually at 350, and then about an hour at 350 wrapped and, uh, until it's the internal, 195 to 200 because then it's going to go in the pot of broth that we're going to make here in about an hour and then then it's all going to be shredded together so we're going to put the dirty girl season on the beef, Where do you want um, the beef to go? that's going to go on the 200 degree with uh okay. 200 degree um mini and then on the chicken which we'll do last a bunch of you are going to be screaming cross contamination <laughs> and that's okay because it's all going on the smoker right now and i've never been sick so deal with it all right, and on the we're going to use the competition rub on this one on the chicken. What are you guys out there cooking today? Hey. Y'all making hash and rice? Y'all making poutine? Y'all making some mac and cheese? Y'all cooking along with us? So we're going to get a little olive oil on the chicken. Hey, listen, do me a favor, guys. I cannot tell you we do this uh, on Fun Day Friday. And it's just really, we're preaching to the choir. We know that. And we do it for you, and so you can go out there and try new things. What really helps us, if you don't mind, is if you're kind enough to share this. Um, it helps us because it gets the word out there. It lets people see these pellet grills in action and how versatile they are. So it helps us, it means a lot when we see those shares. Every time uh, at night when I look at these videos and see how many views they have, I click on the uh, shares to see who shared it. And I can't tell you uh, what it means to us when you help us out like that. I know it's kind of, some people feel funny, like they're maybe spamming their friends, but just share it. Don't say anything, just share it on your wall and just say, hey, awesome product or something like that. Or you don't say anything at all. Just share it and put it out there for people to see. It really helps us. So if you don't mind sharing that, I really appreciate it. So we're gonna put the uh, Carlos competition rub on the chicken. And then we are gonna go put this on the smoker, also at 200 degrees. This, all this is gonna smoke for about four hours. Um, on the, uh, had those tenderloins, so we filled it up. And we want to get some good flavor on there before it goes in the broth. So that's why we're just putting a knot, some good smoke on this stuff before it goes in there. Hey, we had a debate last night online. I wanted to talk a little bit while I got you here and got your uh, attention. Some people are talking about the feed rate and adjusting the feed rate on a rec tech and one uh, guy said that his rec tech was overshooting his set point when he opened his lid and then shut it and uh he said it seemed like it was feeding a lot of pellets and people were talking about feed, adjusting his feed rate so i want to talk about what that meant because there's some confusion about that um when you open your lid to baste or to adjust or to flip Naturally, the computer is going to react to that. It doesn't know what's going on. There's no way for the computer to, to tell what's if it's gotten cold outside or if it's raining or if you open the lid. All it knows is it's losing temp and it needs to fix the problem. So, of course, the auger turns on. The auger will only turn at one speed no matter what you adjust, okay? So, the auger turns on, turns very, very slowly. If anybody's ever looked at it, it starts dropping two or three pellets at a time. It doesn't take many because the, all the metal's up to temp for you, when you close that lid for that temperature to overshoot your set point. Now, at that point, because the, auger, because the computer's fighting you, the grill has to work backwards. Well, that's when the minimum feed rate kicks in because for the grill to work backwards, it says, okay, we wanna come down in temperature, but at the same time, it has to give it a certain amount of pellets because it doesn't want your fire to go out because a flame out is a, a much larger problem. So that's what's called the minimum feed rate. The minimum feed rate is the minimum amount of pellets that will feed at, at, a, at your lowest set point or when it's working backwards. So it's trying to get to your set point, but it's still giving it a few pellets every, and I'm making this up, but let's say it's every uh, 45 seconds to a minute, it's dropping a few pellets. I can't remember that exact number. So when you talk about adjusting the minimum feed rate, what you're doing is flirting with a flame out, and that's okay, we have left a little uh, buffer in there, but you might change it from saying, feeding a few pellets every 45 seconds to feeding a few pellets every minute. 
Um, so that's what adjusting the, the feed rate is. It's just adjusting the minimum feed rate. Usually it only comes into play at the very lowest of settings. So some of you may have noticed before, like if you set your grill at 200 degrees in the summer and it's 100 degrees outside, it might run at 210 or 215 and you're wondering why. Well, that's because the grill is at its minimum feed rate. It's trying to get to 200 degrees, but at the same time, it's got, it won't override that minimum number of pellets that it wants to feed to keep your fire going. And because it's 100 degrees outside, probably already 110 degrees in your grill before you ever lit it, it's very difficult for it to get to 200. So sometimes we can adjust that minimum feed rate down to get, get you down to 200. So some people have confused that feed rate thinking that you can speed up the auger or slow down the auger. That's absolutely not the case. You can't do that. It's just the, when the grill is working at its lowest rate, it's how often it feeds pellets. I hope that helps. I hope it helps because uh, there's been a lot of confusion lately and people debating that uh, uh, and it's difficult to type all that out. Call us. Uh, on the fourth, yeah. Oh, they so said 706 The science of smokers. He said he loves it. So, uh, I, yeah, I, I just uh, I've told a few people to call me. Maybe that helps them so they don't need to call. I've given my cell phone a few times out there recently. So, listen, we're going to um, do this, get some smoke on this stuff. Are you about to prep this? Oh, oh we're man. good. It's already prepped already. Okay. Yeah. So Jody's about to show you what he's doing. Yeah, guys, we're doing some beef ribs, some of the dino ribs, uh, beef plate ribs, they're also called. Dang. So we put, uh, we just put a little bit of uh, mustard on here. Sorry, Ray, I know you don't like mustard. But it cooks off, everybody. That's the good thing. You can't tell. You can't tell. Even Ray, not, even Ray says it. So we got Ben's heifer dust, of course, on these beef ribs. Okay, we're going to do them uh, 300 degrees, just like we would a brisket. That's pretty much how I want to cook them. 160, I'm going to wrap it. So we're going to go on uh, the new stampede, which is set at 300. We just turned this on. And then I've got some other ribs. How long would these take to get to about 160, you think? These are probably going to take about four to five hours. Oh, really? Yeah. But yeah, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, if you think uh, that you know your friends, family could learn something from this, please hit that share button for us. I've got some uh, St. Louis style Durock ribs, seasoned with Ron's Espresso Kick and Espresso Joe Rub, available at RecTechGrills.com. We got this grill set at 250. She's running at 250. Woo! So you always want to do bone side down. Carlo Casanova's competition rub. Okay. Let me show you guys. Go ahead and close that right. Okay. We're gonna do uh, Jody's Asian Persuasion on the bullseye. Okay. So check out the bullseye. We're about second to third notch there. We got our igniter rod off because the grill is fully lit. We're sitting at about 250, 275. I haven't opened this grill. Thank goodness there wasn't a searing kit in there. And then we're going to do some ribs on the bullseye. And hey Matt, I've got, we're also going to do these potatoes at 350. To get those done, this is going to be for the hash. So we're just going to wrap these guys up and put them on at 350 with that pork butt. And we're going to do one sweet potato. That's my secret ingredient in my hash. So some traditional, uh, they wanted to see sweet potatoes today. Yeah. They did? All right, well, it's in the hash. So we're, we're going to put these on uh, at 350, probably about an hour and 15, hour 20 minutes until they're tender, let them cool so I can uh, dice them up. I'm going to peel them once they're uh, cooked, dice them up, and put them in the uh, broth also. So we're going to cook these uh, on the, with, the, uh, with the pork butt as well. I'm actually going to have to stack them in there. That's okay. Uh, we got plenty of time. We just got to get some smoke on this stuff. Facebook folks, remember if you haven't followed us on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you set your notifications. That way you know when we're going live. 
This is a fun, fun day Friday, baby. Fun, fun day Friday, baby! Friday, Friday, Friday. Look at that. Boom! Boom! You wanna see him? So we're gonna get those guys done. Get the pork butt done. And I'm gonna do the broth here in about an hour. I gotta go get a pot at Twisted Burrito and Evans. Uh, Stevie's giving me a, a great hash pot, he said. Or let me use one, rather. So we're gonna go pick that up. We're also gonna be giving some away later today. So we're giving away a rec tech today. We're giving away a rec tech today, everybody. A big, a big rec tech. That's awesome. Isn't that what we were doing? We talked about last night, right? Or were we doing that with some other folks? We're giving away a rec tech today. <laughs> I'm trying to freak you out. Trying to freak you out. So you gotta watch every. You don't know which post. We're giving away yeah, a rec. You gotta tech. watch them all. Make sure you with set the cover. Your notifications. A cover. He's sweetened in the pot. A cover pellets. A rec tech 680. And give them something else. A front shell. What? Want something else? Give them something else. Sausage spice bundle, baby. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Crazy Ray. <rage. laughs> So yeah, so set your notifications. Make sure you share the uh, this current video because you don't know that might be the stipulation. You may have to share all the videos. So go ahead and share now. That way you're go ahead and hit the share button. Hit the share button. Give us some uh, wow faces and some hearts, please, if you could. That would help. <laughs> Thumbs up. I want to see hearts going across Ray's face. Where, which which direction are they going, Matthew? On this they one? go up. They go up. Oh. Here, hold on. I get Billy Smith. Billy Smith. All right. All right. Fun day Friday. Friday. See you in a bit. Ribs, hash, macaroni cheese, rice, poutine, rice. Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday. Gonna go live on Friday, Friday, Friday. Sing it, babe. Friday, Friday. We're going live on Friday, Friday, Friday. Cooking good food on Friday. Friday. Nice. So, oh, the broth. Here's what we're going to do. We got a three gallons of um, liquid we're going to put in here. So we're doing a gallon and a half of beef broth and a gallon and a half of chicken broth um, that we're going to bring to a boil. I actually mixed it up and just used two cartons of uh, vegetable uh, broth today too, just to see. But basically three gallons of broth. If this pot isn't big enough, we're going to get another, when we add the meat, we'll have to get another pot. So that's the chicken, the beef, more chicken. I got some organic <laughs> chicken from Emerald. Shout out Cheryl Ann Bam! Shout out, shout out to the Baggy Blue, the bluest of all Baggies. So it's three gallons. I've got a, uh, this recipe and it's a smaller batch. Where I filmed it myself one night at the house. If you uh, on YouTube, if you Google um, Rectech hash, Rectech hash, hashtag Rectech hash, hashtag hash. Man, this is a lot. If y'all want to know how to make hash, please hit the share button. If you want your friends to know. If you want your dad to know how to make hash, man, hit I that share in the earlier video I said uh, nothing helps us more than you guys sharing. That's I right. really appreciate it. We always look at those shares. You never know if we send a free spice to the guys that share the most. Yep, and we tell people that we send free stuff to not to say anything, so yeah. it may or may not happen. All right, so we're gonna put that in there. Four cans of Rotel, um, which you could do four or six. This is just diced tomatoes and green chilies. Jody, what all are we cooking today? All right, today we got beef ribs, the dino beef ribs that everybody's been asking about on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram. Pinterest. We're gonna do two tablespoons of beef base. That's real salty to bring some salt in. We're gonna do two tablespoons of red pepper flake. One, two. We're gonna do two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. One, two. We're gonna do two tablespoons of Greek, our Greek seasoning. It's gonna take a while to get to a boil. One, this Greek seasoning is rosemary, thyme, salt, pepper, garlic, um, 
And I think there's a little basil and parsley in there as well. Delicious. Um, Fresh. We're going to do half a bottle of red wine. This is a Cabernet. Turn it up. YOLO. <laughs> All right. We got about eight onions. Now, there's going to be some other ingredients that cut. We got eight onions and about eight cloves, eight to ten cloves of gar fresh garlic. Um, we're keeping it real loose at this point, okay? Because later, we want to, um, we're going to thicken it up more later. But right now, I want to keep it real loose so we don't uh, risk scorching it. So we're just going to put this in there, bring this to a boil, really cook these down. And we're smoking all that those meats. It's going to take us about four hours. Those are going to get shredded and put in there, or added in there, and then they're going to get shredded rather. So this is eight onions, eight to ten cloves of garlic. These are Vidalia sweet onions. It's going to splash. I wanted Matt to get in there and get that good shot. God bless Vidalia. <laughs> we love Vidalia onions. Anybody so, here? That is a Georgia Anybody crop. watching? like Vidalia onions? Yeah, anybody out there um, that really, really loves Vidalia onions because we live so close, it's pretty cool if you're going to say, I love Vidalia onions. All right, so what we're going to do at this point, you let this boil for about two uh, and a half hours while our meat is uh, getting the smoke on it. After that, we're going to take the meat off, put it in here. It's going to boil for about an hour and a half uh, or hard boil for about an hour until it's shreddable. I mean, until it just falls apart. We're going to shred all that put it back in there then we're gonna hard boil it add some ketchup we're gonna add some diced tomatoes Gr chef Greg you'll love this part he loves it when I add cream corn six <laughs> cans corn, of cream corn. corn cream corn going in there <laughs> we left the au jus out this time Greg sorry and then what you do is you reduce it until it's nice and thick and you serve that over rice you can add more heat if you want to um, we just did the two tablespoons of uh red pepper flake and cayenne but you know some people like it hotter but i like to serve it just a little bit of bite and then uh put some hot sauce serve it with some hot sauce and on the table and some people will hit it with some louisiana hot sauce uh or uh you know right on top of it when they put it on their plate so bring this to a hard boil just let it roll we're going to put a lid on it you don't want it to start reducing right right now obviously when we add the meat we actually i think it's big enough no i think we're it, right there on the borderline for sure it's on the borderline i'm going to try to make this pot work because that's more than you think this is a 22 inch the matador is 22 inch 304 stainless steel by the way awesome cooker this is the when this is full this would be easily 35 people this is a giant pot it's shallow but it's deceiving how much it will hold i mean like you said you saw we just put three gallons of liquid in it eight giant by daily onions so where you get the meat in there come back i just wanted to show you that process yeah and also just wanted to let you guys know 199 at rectechgrills.com it's a stainless steel pan you can't find any other wok style cookers with a stain 304 stainless steel pan now it comes standard with the adapter hose so you can hook up both small tanks and large tanks it comes standard with the wind uh deflector so those two things you don't have to purchase free shipping one ninety nine. Carrying bags. It comes with two carrying the bags. The legs collapse. That's a ridiculous deal. I've seen pots. I kid you not. Just the pot that, of this quality that were three hundred fifty, four hundred fifty dollars. Absolutely. This is a ridiculous. When you hold this pot, everybody said, "Whoa!" I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, high quality thing for one ninety nine. Um, so check that out at rectechgrills.com. The whole setup's about thirty five pounds. I've seen, literally, seen a guy strap it to his back and walk up a mountain. That's true. Literally. Shout out Andy Colbert with Augusta Outdoors. Hey, who is the guy? We're giving away a Rec Tech 680 later today. Oh! With a front shelf, pellets, and a cover. But who was the guy who suggested it yesterday? What? Ben gave us his name. I've got his name. And we're going to get him. We're going to give him a shout next out. Next video, we'll give you credit because you asked in the comments for us to give away a grill. And that's what gave us the idea. So we'll give you credit. I just forgot your name. I apologize for that. So we'll get this going. <laughs> we'll be back in a little while, show you how we put this thing together. This is going to be the bomb. We may be staying late tonight because uh, we're getting it done. Yeah, we got beef ribs. We've got St. Louis style Duroc ribs. We're also doing poon tang. Shot of tang. That's pooty tang. Hot of tang. Hot of tang. Shot of tang. Shot of tang. Pooty tang. Dumbest movie ever, but greatest movie ever. Pooty tang. No, no, we're doing poon tang. Poutine. No, poutine. God, I'm sorry. 
I honestly tried not to that time. I swear to God. Fun. That was action. We're live, you know. <laughs> and we're also. What other side do we have, everyone? Macaroni and cheese. We're gonna do smoked macaroni and cheese. Olivia is on her way back with all of our ingredients, so we'll be back with that. I'm also going to uh, sear up some medallions here in a little bit. Um, if you're looking for that, we'll be doing this in about five minutes. And let me show you just the meat that we've got smoking for the yes, hash real yes. quick, just so you can get a look. Uh, we've got this going fast, uh, quick and fast, hot and fast, I'm sorry. Um, this is our butt with our potatoes going on. It's already starting to bark up nicely. Okay, we've got the uh, chicken on at 200. We're just getting some smoke on here. And then we've got over here, we've got the uh, chuck roast and the pork tenderloins going at 200 as well. Just get some smoke on there. And then everybody says you can't go on the bullseye. Which one? Oh, the bullseye right here. Which is wrong. You got the ribs on the bullseye. You guys out there do ribs on your bullseye? I bet you do. And then we got on the stampede is rocking some beef ribs. The Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. We got anything on the uh, 700? More ribs. More ribs on the 700. They're starting to color up nice too. All right, check out rectechgrills.com. Hey, again, please, guys, please share the video. Thank you for so much, and we'll see you later. We're giving away a Rectech 680. Fun day Friday. Thanks Friday, for coming. Friday, Friday. Giving away a Rectech Friday. Friday, Friday. I'm making a Ooh. Any good mac and cheese starts with a roux. And he just bacon in there, so you just left a, a little bit of the, like, the... Drippings and whatnot. I did leave a little bit of the bacon drippings in there. It's flaked. Absolutely. Four to five tablespoons of butter. I let it melt. I put uh, a cup of uh, no, it was a half a cup of flour in there to thicken it up. And then this. How much milk is this, Olivia? This is four cups of milk. And we're just stirring this till it heats up. It gets it starts to thicken. Then we'll add our cheese to it. And I'm gonna um, get this, uh, I smoked the meat here now, so we put it on at about 9.20. Uh, it's 12, uh, going almost, it's 12.20, so. Um, three hours. Three hours, thank you. <laughs> yeah, sir. So we put some smoke on there, and uh, we're gonna put this in the, um, in this uh, broth that we made. Listen, it was gonna be a real close fit on the Matador, so celebrating uh, 4.20, me and Jody got a pot. That's how we do it here. <laughs> got one pot. One pot. So uh, we've got that going. So oh what we're gonna God. do? We put some uh, smoke on the. Um, oh my God! It's a smoky pot. Smoky <laughs> pot. <laughs> got some smoke on Ooh, the uh, the chuck roast. And what we're gonna do is just drop these guys in here, whole. They're gonna boil for about an hour. And Ben, if you don't mind, turn that heat all the way up for me, please. We've got these pork, uh, these are the tenderloins. This is not a loin, this is the tenderloin. We're gonna put those in there as well. Yeah, right there, man. Yeah. And... Barbecue Queen, what's up? What's up, Dino Dan, Chef Greg? We've got some uh, chicken breasts. And yes, we are doing hash on 420. Oh, oh, I didn't even think about that. You did. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> All right. So we got these uh, chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, smoked them for three hours. So we got some good smoke penetration in there. Now we're gonna um, we're gonna just cook these down. All the fat from that chuck roast and stuff. It's good. And that pork tenderloin is gonna render in there. And we've got this uh, pulled pork that we did hot and fast. Let's get that off. We've got this to an internal of 196. This is the wide pellet Wi-Fi controller. If you want to show them. I got it right here, big dog. It's on the phone. We had it a hot and fast cook at 350. And you can see the internal right here at 196 uh, on your phone. All you have to do is Wi-Fi. You can see that from anywhere in the world. Uh, pull the temp probe out. And let me show you what this guy looks like. We did our uh, potatoes. We got one big sweet potato and four big russets. 
and we're we did those at 350. Those are when when this is done, we're going to add those to the uh, hash as well. We're also going to add some other ingredients and start to thicken it up. Again, right now we want to keep it real loose because we don't want to risk scorching the bottom. Okay. So this is that pork foot. Beautiful, right? That's a good color on. And we're going to take this and we're going to put this whole thing right in here. Get it down in there. And it's going to boil for an hour, hour and a half. Then when we're going to come back live, we're going to shred all these ingredients, dice up the potatoes, put them in there. We're going to add some ketchup and some uh, cream corn, some diced tomatoes. That's when we take the lid off and we let it reduce until it gets the right consistency. And then we'll show you uh, what some southern uh, home style hash and rice looks like. It's awesome. And uh, we're going to be giving a lot of this away. I mean, we've got about 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 pounds of meat in here. Um, and we got this this new pot just to be safe because it was going to be, the matador is going to literally be to the very, very top. And we didn't want to risk us spilling any. So we'll Finish. come back live. When we do it, Judge, you want to tell them what you're doing next? Yeah, guys, I created that roux uh, with some milk, salt, pepper. I also, there's, uh, like I said, five tablespoons of butter. Got it really thick. I also put some mustard, brown mustard in here. Ooh, we're going to add a cheddar. And then these uh, directions, or recipe, excuse me, is going to be uh, posted later. So we got cheddar and we got gouda. We got the matador set on low and we're just gonna let that melt down. When it all melts, I've already got some noodles al dente. Just chilling. I'll let that. Come and check out these beef ribs, guys. I've already wrapped our pork ribs. And what'd you put in that wrap when you wrapped it? I'd put uh, half a stick of butter and a handful of brown sugar. Usually we recommend a whole stick of butter, but check out these beef ribs. They're starting to come off the bone there. They're starting to get a little salt. Yeah, this is dino ribs, man. These things are awesome. 300 degrees, they've been going, what time is it ready, said? 1.30. Yeah. So they've been going three and a half hours. I expect them to go about six or seven. And then we've got the ribs on the bullseye going. Holding strong at 250 degrees. 399 rectechgrills.com. This thing can't be beat, guys. 15 pound hopper. It can get up to over 600 degrees. It's an awesome hot and fast cooker, but we're doing low and slow in it today. Show you guys that you can do it too. 199 free shipping on the Matador. You can't beat it. We got some bubblage going in over here. Since it's melting, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn our Matador off. So we don't melt, I mean, so we don't burn. Hey, remind them later we're giving away that. Say, hey, what was the fellow's name that told us to give away a six page? I still got it on my desk. I promise we're going to mention his name. I can't remember his name. Please us by giving away a grill. Please us by giving away a grill. And we said, sure. We're giving away a six eight. You can do it bigger. And what else, Ray? I said we were giving away a front shell, pellets, and a cover. What else, Ray? Oh, and sauce and spice buns. That's right. What's up, Scott Leninger in the house? Scott Leninger! So we're giving away today, at the final video, we're giving away about, that would be a 11, 12, 13, about a 13 or $1,400 package we're giving away today. So make sure you watch us. You never know when we're gonna do it. And uh, again, we do this for, like I said, we're preaching to the choir, but it means the world to us when you share. I saw earlier all those shares, that's awesome. Thank you to the guys so much for sharing. We appreciate it. Uh, Jody's gonna about to put these uh, um, the pasta in here. The al dente. Uh, Joseph Bernardino. Joseph Bernardino. Everybody out there. Joseph Bernardino is your idea. That's why we're giving away fourteen hundred dollar packages. Y'all all thank Joseph. Yeah. Good job, Joseph. Cost me some money today, man. <laughs> Woo, that doesn't look good, does it? So bad. <laughs> I guess we're doing dinner here tonight. We got hot sauce. What's that, about a tablespoon or two? Uh, I think it's two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of hot sauce, your favorite? 
Mix that in. Mix up flakes. Mary Candish said, can a woman set this up alone? She doesn't have anyone to help her. Absolutely. It's very easy. The whole thing with the pot is only about 30 pounds. And uh, the, the base is in two pieces and easily can be put together by one person. There it is. There, a bunch of about almost a pound of bacon. Two cups uh, breadcrumbs. Jody, how much bigger is the Stampede than the Mini? Okay, the Mini is going to be 340 square inches, whereas the Stampede is going to be 590 square inches. So it's just, you know, it's like one and a half Minis. And it's got a little bit more headroom, and it does, you know, both of those grills come standard with that wide pellet Wi-Fi control technology. And yes, the probes come standard with the grill. Two probes come standard, not one probe like the competition. Two probes come standard. And with that wi uh, pellet Wi-Fi connectivity, you can hook to your phone anywhere in the world, turn on your grill, monitor the internal temperature of your meat, and change the temperature of your grill, or even turn off your grill. So it's really cool if you get the internal you want, you can turn off the grill, let your meat rest, and uh, in the grill, if you're gonna be an hour before you get home and you're doing a butt or something like that, you can just turn the grill off and let it rest there. I'm liking this, Joe. You ready oh, for you the bacon? Turn that heat off. Turn it off? Yeah, it should already be off, but just make sure it is. And Jody, Rosie Panconi loves mac and cheese. Yeah! Hopefully everybody likes mac and cheese because everybody requested it yesterday. So, grease pan. Grease pan. I'll wheel right back the way over there to you, Ray. Alright. We're going right in there with here you have to start right yeah, there. I'll lift. You'll lift it. That's teamwork, making the dream work. There you go. Make your way. Mm. You can see, I'm not mm. sure what size pan this is, but you can see the two 16 ounces worth of uh, noodles. 32 ounces of noodles fits right Woo! in there. Now, we're gonna rec tech it. We're gonna take it over the top with our bacon breadcrumbs. Awesome. Bacon breadcrumbs, and you see how friggin' awesome and thick I left this bacon? We don't crunch it up in a food process, so we leave it whole. You guys use bacon and breadcrumbs on your Mac? And just live the rec tech lifestyle. It doesn't have to be even. Where are we coming in the uh, heat? No. We're gonna go probably in that cup You can come in this uh, trailblazer if you want. What's the thing? Sweet. That sounds excellent. <laughs> and then we're gonna rectech it. More cheese. Whoa. Bye, bye, more cheese. Just give me more cheese, mother father. This is probably gonna. It's going to spill, spill over, definitely, <laughs> but... You want to do this at 350? I want to do... Yes, sir. Triple is ready. Is it ready? It's in there like a dream, boss. Put some smoke on there. We'll have smoked mac and cheese in no time, guys. Boom. Thank you for your suggestions. Good night. Please, please, please hit the wow button for us. Hit that wow, like button. Wow, and share and like. Like, 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 love, 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 love. Hit me some, give me some love. Well, what else we got, Ray? Recipe will be on Facebook. We'll share later. Recipe will be on Facebook. Olivia just wrote it down. With a butter. Calculus beef ribs! Thank you, Stampede. Stampede's got that unique octagon design. It's got the 30 pound hopper, no, no 15, no 16, no 18, no 20 pound hopper here. It's a 30 pound hopper. What's cool about it is it gives you a good work area too. It's also an awesome work area. That work area is made out of 304 stainless steel. It's not going to warp rust, corrode, or fade on you. Remember it comes with a dual probe. Super, super easy dial thermometer to read. Awesome probe door here. Chrome bullhorn handles, excuse me, stainless steel bullhorn handles. You also got a pull bar over there on the right-hand side and left-hand side. It's got a very long cord. 
bottom we, shelf comes standard. And it's kind of cool when you buy a rec tech with the new controllers, you really are saving sixty to one hundred and ten dollars because you don't have to buy a thermometer. That's correct. Because it's got two built-in thermometers, so it really saves you some money there if you put if you factor that in. Absolutely, absolutely. These got uh, adjustable parameters in it, guys. Um, you can you know adjust your minimum feed rate. Then we've got an offset in there that you can adjust. It's super super easy, super super simple, uh, and it's worth the money. You get a lot more bang for your buck. Visit rectechgrills.com. Tell your friends about us. And share. Hit share button for me. Give it a share, share. and uh, we're going to be back later to give away um, about a $1,400 package. Give yourself more, more uh, entries by sharing. Tune in on Facebook for the giveaway. I just see 11 people that I'm friends with Facebook just shared this video, which is awesome. Awesome. See Scott you later. Scott Manager's out there cooking pizza on his bullseye. Live right now? Live. Well, is it live? 20 minutes ago, he shot a video. No, he shot a video. And guys, thanks for He's, sharing all those videos out there. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. There was like 129 shares earlier. I, I don't, I'm sure it's over that now, but thanks so much. It means the world to us. Sure. See you in about, uh, heck, about an hour on this. Hour, a little over an hour. We're going to take this out, and we're going to put all the ingredients in the pool here for this uh, hash. So we'll see you in about an hour. Thanks so much, guys. See you in a bit. See you in the rec tech. See you in the rec tech. Friday, 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 Friday. Friday, 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 gets on the uh, staircase and he slides all the way down and he falls. He's like, my back hurts, my back mm -hmm. hurts. And it echoes in his large house. Okay. I never saw that. What's Mr. up, Deans. Tom? What's up, Rosie? What's Adam up, Sandler, Donovan? Shout out. Hey, the chicken for the hash is, is uh, already been pulled and the potatoes, uh, we already did them. We didn't peel them perfectly. It doesn't matter for hash. So we got six breasts here already um, pulled and we're waiting on that beef to give up and the pork, the pork's ready to be pulled, but it's not, I'm gonna let it cook with the beef once. Once it gives up, we're gonna chop it and we're gonna put these other ingredients in. But man, put these ribs fight. that, uh, yeah, put up a good fight. These ribs that Jody's about to show you, these beef ribs are ridiculous. Five hours, 300 degrees. Beef plate ribs or beef short ribs? Wait, you see this? It's crazy. Dino Dan, what's up, buddy? Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it looks like uh, Louie's going to get a bone. <coughs> Show you guys the... Hey, for these, you need a medieval tool. <laughs> Did you watch that thing? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, we're going to temp them. Look how easy it's sliding in. You want to go to about two or three. You got a little high, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't worried about it. All I'm looking for is, guys, you see how easy that's going in and coming out? Watch it. You see how easy it's going in and coming out. I'm gonna glove up because I want to. And that's what you want to look for, everybody. See how it's pulling away from the bone. The bone's practically falling off of it. Again, with beef ribs, you treat them just like um, a mixture of pork ribs and a brisket. The guy made that for me on uh, in Germany. In Germany. He's online. Let me tell you his name and thank him for these. He made that one. And uh, he made it th that one there. Let me get his name. It's freaking hard. sweet. It's freaking sweet. Pretty cool. Got the logo in it. It's beautiful. Amazing craftsmanship. Karam Bashir. Karam Bashir. Karam Bashir. Thank you. I love the knives or hatchets that you made. <laughs> okay. We good. We good in shop enough. All right. Oh, you know what we're cutting through that little bit of membrane down there. Yeah. School. Are you kidding? Oh, it's hot, buddy. Yeah. No, but look at that. As, hot as all get out. Squishy. It's like a wonderful mattress. <laughs> Laying on a wonderful, awesome mattress. Oh, my goodness. Let me cut up some more so we can have a little bit more visual. 
Thank you, Karam, for these sharp utensils. It's a cleaver, guys. It's a cle that's right. That's right, cleaver. I don't know why that wouldn't come in my head. Like a uh, beaver? But it's exactly what uh, like Fred Flintstone would use. Exactly. See the smoke ring on yeah, these bad boys? Do. Smoke penetration even at 300 degrees. These look amazing. Shout out to the newer butcher shop for ordering these and supplying these for us. I gotta get a little taste here. Ooh, they are they are hot, brother. Oh my god. Just so good, man. What kind of season you need on? This was uh, Ben's Heifer Dust. We only use Ben's Heifer Dust on uh, beef. Mm. I mean, we always use Ben's Lumbo? Heifer Dust just on beef. Right. Shake that bone out. It's coming off. Oh, Lord, it just fell off. Just fell off. That's just beautiful. Man, it's a beautiful piece of meat right there. Guys, get yourself some beef ribs, beef short ribs. Now the ones you buy at the grocery store are not going to be like this at all. They're not going to be like this at all. They're going to be a lot less meatier. Where did we get these? The New York Butcher Shop here in Augusta, Georgia. You're, uh, any specialty butcher will be able to order these. These are called beef plate ribs. You got to try it. Where was the one you tried? I just cut this one. Mmm. Okay. This is that fat is rendered down. It's so hot, Ray. How did you get it in your mouth? Practice, man. Oh my god. It's so hot. <laughs> but it's so delicious. Woo! Oh my god. It's so salty. I love it. Hey, Beef loves salt. We're going to be getting this hash put together soon. Giving away a Rectech 680. Tune in. We had to show you these when they were done, though, so we had to go live for a real quick uh, video. Be sure to share it. You don't know if that's going to have something to do with that contest. Actually, it is going to have something to do with the contest, so share Actually, the video. Actually, share the video. <laughs> share the video. Mmm. Talking about Academy. Academy. <laughs> nice, nice. That's, that's not that good, though. No, it's horrible. What's up, Jared? Honest. What's up, Zachariah? <laughs> What's up, Josh? Hey, man, look at these beef ribs. They were, they were delicious. <laughs> they were. <laughs> if you saw the last video, I mean, they were pretty good. <laughs> Steven Casto. John Medina. Hello right, from Texas. Who? Hello from Texas. Hello. Hello. All right. We got these ribs here, guys. We cooked them on the RT700 bowl. And we also did a set uh, on the RTB380, the Rectech Bullseye. Uh, did these at 250 degrees for five hours. Uh, we, after three hours, we wrapped them for two. And then after two hours, we took them off and let them sit in there for about 20 minutes. These things are bad to the bone. The pork, um, you know, they're essentially just coming apart, so. It's kind of ridiculous. You did 250? I did 250 for five hours, yeah. It's kind of ridiculous to even cut these, but they're just falling apart. Casanova's rub. Casanova rub, Ron's rub. Ron's kicking, and then Jody's Asian Persuasion on this one. I had a lot of folks this week call, email, text, and tell me that Jody's Asian is the best to put on ribs. So I never tried it, so we're gonna see now. So these look great. Pork Duroc. Remember the Duroc pigs have a little bit redder meat. Smoke ring. That's a 250 guys. And they're just pulling apart. If you like fall off the bone ribs, that's a good recipe for you. Yeah, I like that Asian persuasion on there. I don't think you can go wrong with any of our rubs really. 
They're all amazing. No, they're all, all amazing, especially on this. I'm still working on that hash, guys. It's getting <laughs> close. I just speed labor it up. Of love. Labor of love. Labor of love. These are awesome. Carlos rub gives them great color. His his really do um, make them pretty. Yeah. Oh, you sauce these? No, it's just a little bit of uh, right. butter at the end. I'm gonna try Ron's. Oh dang. That's pretty good. Yeah. Ron's is good. Really? I like yeah. this one. More savory. Less sweet. Garrett Taylor said, how many people are you cooking for today? So far, about six. We've eaten it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't even know how I'm eating still. <laughs> I feel so fat right now. Bloated. <laughs> well, we usually have about 30 employees that we cook for. Today, some of them were left a little early after eating a beef rib or two. So. Mm. Mm. It's time and tip, guys. Again. About five hours, 250 degrees. We wrapped after three hours. Put about a half a stick of butter in there, a handful of uh, brown sugar. And we wrapped them not too tight, not too loose either because you don't want them to steam. After the two hours wrapped, we unwrapped them, just let them sit on the grill for about 30 minutes to dry off. Look at that. Oh, that's so unbelievable. And I'm more of a fan, I'm a fan of more dry rub. But of course, you know, the last 30 minutes you can put your favorite barbecue sauce on there. And let it cook on there. These are awesome. Easy. Don't ever think it. Super easy. You could have went unwrapped. Come on in, guys. Get some ribs. The normal way I usually do it is 250 for uh, five to six hours unwrapped. So these are awesome. Nice and moist. Don't forget to share. We're giving away a Rectech 680 today. Sharon has something to do with it. Share this video. And uh, when this hash gets done, which we are getting close, that beef is... Not giving up on me yet, because I need to pull it, uh, but it's getting real close. Uh, we're gonna come live, and we're gonna tell you how to win that Red Tech 680 front shelf, cover, and pellets, and... Sauce and spice. Sauce and spice bundle. All eight of them. We got eight. eight. That's right, they're eight all incredible. Two they're all incredible. If you don't own a Red Tech yet, go to our website, buy a spice, just one, and that will give you an idea of what kind of grill we sell. We've got a caliber what kind of caliber and level we take it to. Yes. All right, visit rectechgrills.com. See us on all social media. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see share you in this video. Hash. Share it, share it. If you want to win. Share the more better of a chance you have to win that new RT680 at the end. We love you guys. Thanks for following us. Take care. Guess what? The hash is getting close. Yeah, we got to pull the meat. So the beef, uh, you want to get it where it's just falling apart, shredding. It's real close. Close enough where we can chop it. And it's still got some cooking because we have to reduce it. So we're going to go ahead and pull this. And um, we've got pork tenderloin. pork tenderloin. It's ready to roll. Come on over. Oh, you want No, I was just keeping it from dripping. Oh, very smart. Yeah. Very smart. This is chuck rust. Oh, well, good night. What's up, bud? This is the pork butt. You got to find those other Ooh. chunks. Okay. That's that five pound pork butt. Beef is falling apart. Beef. Oh. Look at that, said Fred. Fred! Scruffy harsh burger. More that's pork. A, that's a darn, that's a damn good dog, Scruffy. You're a damn good dog, buddy. <laughs> Beef and pork mixed up. Beef and pork, yes, sir. Grovetown, Georgia, checking in. Town, the whole This should town. be another tenderloin. What's the dog's name? Go Warriors. Louie. That's Louie. Lucifer. <laughs> That's it, boss, I think. Holy That's it. She might have some. Everybody, that's Jody's dog today, hanging out with us. That's it. Or take lifestyle. Yes, sir. And if you'll wipe that with a uh, uh, paper towel or this towel. Barbecue Queen says yes. All right, well, that's cool. And let me show you the other ingredients we're going to add in here. Um, and we're going to chop this up in a second. So we're going to put six cans of diced tomatoes in here. 
six cans of diced tomatoes. We're gonna put six cans of uh, sweet corn drained. Corn! It's a controversial move. Some people say don't put corn in half. I like it. Do what you like. We're gonna put six cans cream of cream corn. Chef Greg's favorite. Michael Polinchak's burning in his bowl right now. Woo! Burn nice. Her, Burn her in. We're gonna put two um, 16 ounce, uh, 32 ounces of Rectech barbecue sauce. You don't wanna make this, you want a hint of barbecue sauce. You don't wanna make your hash, hash taste like barbecue sauce. So 32 ounces of our vinegar-based barbecue sauce. And in the south, you have to have ketchup in your hash. We're gonna put three to four cups of barbecue, uh, I mean of ketchup. We already did. Oh, okay. So half of this is four cups. Yeah, good. a little bit more for good measure. Yep. All right, so we want this to uh, start reducing. We're gonna leave from this point on, we're gonna leave the cover off and let this reduce. Now we're gonna get the meat and potatoes chicken, pork, beef, all added. We got our cleavers here. And so, potatoes, chicken, pork, pork, potatoes, chicken, pork, beef, potatoes, <laughs> chicken, pork. You name it. This is very, you have to be very precise with this. Yes, be very careful. <laughs> We're making hash. <laughs> Matt got some on his front of his pants there. Yeah, you guys out there might want to put a bib on. These are uh, available at Rectech. No, they're not available. No, they're yet. not. You can only get these at Rectech Academy, right? That's right. Along with this hat. Only Louis going to like that piece. Academy. Ray, you look like a barbecue hitman with those shades. <laughs> All right. serious right now, right? Okay, right? Mad skills, they say. Let the knife do all the work, people. What about the apron, Kobe? Cody, that'll also be available at Rec Tech Academy. Which, by the way, guys, the Rec Tech Academy, I know it's a lot of money. I'm telling you, nobody will leave there and, and not think it's, they got their money's worth. It's going to be first class, concert, uh, all your food, beverages, entertainment, everything's included. Uh, the Rodney Atkins concert. Rodney Atkins! You got a VIP section, open bar, just for the uh, Rec Tech Academy guys. And your companion. And your companion. It's going to be really cool. You get to see this guy. The barbecue hitman himself. Yeah, you'll get to hang out with the barbecue hitman himself. <laughs> all right, so we got this chalk. Just going to go in there with it. Yeah, let's just go in there and uh, Jody. And grab this. We'll grab Rick, that separate. Kevin, looking forward hey, to seeing you guys. Hey, don't lose any of this. No, we ain't. Go easy on this. All right, so now we're going to add the you got meat. You don't want it to splash up on you guys. It's super, super hot, so always be careful. Oh, that is really thick. Sorry, Matt. Oh, it's so hot, Ray. <laughs> All right. That's right, Fred. Open bar. That's right. We're having a uh, Bloody Mary bar every morning. Mimosas, Bloody Marys, Dirty Girl Bloody Mary mix. Jody, go ahead and mix that up. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Woo! So now all we got to do, it's a little bit loose right now, but we're going to let it bring it to a boil. Then we want to bring it to just a simmer because, you get again, you don't want to scorch it. And bring it down, not get, let it get nice and thick to the right consistency. We're going to make some rice. Put this over rice. You could eat this in about 10 minutes. Let those flavors mingle, and it would be fine. But we're going to let it thicken up a little bit for it to really be hashed. So let all these flavors mingle. Get that. Look at that. Yeah, that's thicken up just that's a, a bit. good old southern hash right there. Uh, just needs to thicken up. 
and let those. Uh, You're gonna let the leave the. Lid we off, just right? introduce. Yeah, leave the lid off from this point on. Bring it to a boil, then turn down the heat so you don't scorch the bottom. Reduce it. So it's probably got about another hour. All right. So what we got to do is tell them how to this. Well, we'll show the finished product, but you want to yep. go ahead and tell them it's getting awful late. I know yep. some people got to go out. Let's tell you how to win that Rectech 680 front shell, pellets, sauce and uh, spice bundle, and what else do we cover? cover. About a $1,400 package. Three Take three steps back, he says. All right. So we went live about four or five times today. Uh, we are going to pick one of those videos Monday. Everybody and what we're going to take all the shares from one of those videos all, right. everybody that shares so you can go back and share So share all the videos just to make sure that you're entered in we're gonna pick one of the videos We're gonna take the names of everybody that shared that video We're gonna put them in a drawing and we're gonna draw one name from that video who the people that shared and uh, They are gonna win that $1,400 680 with the front shelf cover pellets sauce and spice sauce bundle and spice. Uh, and that is for, no, that's for Canada as well. So uh, the lower 48 in Canada as well. Cool. And uh, no Hawaii, no oh. Mexico, no. please. No Alaska. <laughs> no Sorry, Alaska, guys. Hawaii, just lower 48 in Canada. We Hopefully love you. Lower 48. We love you. <laughs> yeah, we do we love, love you. you. It just gets crazy yeah, on the shipping. Sure and does. Kevin, but, tickets to Rectech Academy are available on rectechgrills.com, 998. 998 with tax. That's with tax. That's with tax. It comes to 998. It's 924 plus tax. And uh, that's uh, everything's included in that, right. so it's going to be really first class. Uh, Thursday evening, you'll arrive about six uh, to the event. You'll do the meet and greet with Ray and a bunch of the pitmasters. You'll get to eat a awesome catered dinner. You'll leave at nine, go to your hotel, be back at about seven thirty eight the next morning uh, for pork butt and brisket. The first day we're doing um, pork butt and chicken. chicken. And brisket, no, brisket and chicken is the second day, so the first day is going to be ribs and uh, pork butt. Okay. And uh, we're going to eat that for day. lunch. We're going to have a bunch of workshops where we cook some quick meals on them. And then we're actually going to have lunch Sunday as well. Some people are leaving and not going to be there for Sunday, but you're welcome to uh, come so Sunday. It's going to be a day. lot of fun. And then we're selling a bunch of, uh, for people, I know some people are flying in, so this isn't going to be an option, but we're selling a bunch of uh, the uh, demoed units that we cooked on. Uh, for a huge discount and while we're there we're gonna have a bunch of contests giving away some oh, rectex and There's things like that tons and tons of giveaways you're not gonna be disappointed guys and a huge swag bag absolutely it's gonna be some cool absolutely. stuff in there you don't know so uh, come uh, well, hope to see apron. you hope to see you uh, at Rectech Academy uh, share these videos we're gonna give that away Monday Do you want to set a time Monday we'll just say Monday after lunch Monday after lunch Monday after lunch we'll go live right. and we'll have that drawing for that uh, Rectech 680 and to all of those CSRA Augusta uh, North Augusta folks tickets for Rodney Atkins are on sale right now uh, you can go to our website and follow the link we've also got a pinned post on Facebook so just go to that pin post and that'll take you right to where you can buy your Rodney Atkins ticket. He's coming from a seven year musical hiatus. He's got a brand new album. His uh, beautiful wife, wife Rose Falcon is gonna be opening up for him. It's gonna be an amazing concert. It's gonna be very intimate. It's gonna be out there at the amphitheater. Um, he's got a huge, huge bus. It's a small venue. Unload. It's Total a small about 1,500 people. It's going to be very intimate. It's going to be such a good concert. It's only $20. Um, so please, please, please buy your tickets. You can pick them up at the gate. Uh, but go ahead and buy that ticket. That way, um, you, you know, you, we'll know that you're coming. Have a great weekend. Safe weekend. Thanks for tuning in. We've had over 1,200 shares today. Incredible. Uh, so continue to share. And uh, we love you for the uh, following us and watching today. And we'll go live again just to show this finished product. Like I said, it's got about an hour. So thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. See you one more time when we make a plate of this hash and rice. Go yeah. ahead. And one last thing. Remember, guys, there's Facebook stories and there's Instagram stories. We've got so much content in there. If you click on our little logo, you will see over 20 different videos, boomerangs, different things in the stories. So also follow us in Facebook stories because you'll see, you know, how we prepared things, how we put them on the grill, you know, what we flipped. Uh, different things like that. So make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram stories as well. Uh, also, to the local Augusta folks, we do have a Facebook filter uh, for RecTech Academy. So please feel free to use that filter and share it on any, any and all social media. A little banner. Yeah, it's I awesome. didn't know what filter meant. Filter, banner, frame, however you want to put it. <laughs> you can put RecTech Academy right in front of your picture. It's awesome. Cool. Have a great weekend, man. Nice work today. Man. Hey, awesome. Right? See you in a bit. Oh.
I'd say I was shooting. I was like, is that somebody I know?